function application is written just by putting expressions next to each other, juxtaposing them. So if you want to apply a function to n different arguments, you write e0, which is the expression for the function, and then n other expressions, e1 through en. And there's no parentheses required, no punctuation required, unless you need to force a particular order of evaluation, say with arithmetic or making sure OCaml is just parsing things the way you want them to be parsed. Okay, so get out of the habit of writing parentheses around the arguments to a function. You don't need them. And in fact, OCaml may not even understand what you're trying to do if you add them in, especially if you start adding commas between the function arguments. Notice there are no commas here. It's actually incorrect to add them. Evaluation of a function application proceeds as follows. First, evaluate all of the sub-expressions to values. So evaluate E0 to a value, evaluate E1 to a value, up to En. Now, after that's done, E0 needs to have evaluated to a value V0 that is a function. It has to be in a, a function. We can write it as an anonymous function here. We don't need its name right now. Fun x1 through xn arrow e. Now that we have that function, we can substitute the values of the arguments for those names inside of the body of the function. So substitute v1 for x1, substitute v2 for x2, and so forth inside that body expression e, that's going to get us a new expression e prime that may have changed because we did some substitution inside of it. Finish by evaluating e prime to a value v. That value v is the result of the entire function application. Let's do an example of that. Let's apply the anonymous function that increments its argument to the expression 2 plus 3. Of course, if we increment 2 plus 3, we ought to get 6. Hopefully, that's what we get in the end. What do our evaluation rules say? Well, first, evaluate E0 to a value. Done. Already done because fun x arrow x plus 1 is an anonymous function and therefore is already a value. There's nothing to be done with it. Also evaluate the arguments to values. So that means evaluating 2 plus 3, which of course is going to give us 5. So what do we end up with next? We're trying to apply fun x arrow x plus 1 to 5. Next step in function application, substitute the argument values for the names of the parameters. So I want to substitute 5 for x inside of the body of the anonymous function. That gives me 5 plus 1. That is my expression e prime that the evaluation rules are referring to. Finally, evaluate e prime to a value. 5 plus 1 evaluates to the value 6. And that is the result of the entire function application expression. Let's try a second example. Suppose we apply the anonymous function that subtracts its second argument from its first to two other expressions. Okay, what does the function application rule say? First, evaluate all the sub-expressions. Done with the first one because it's already a value. That anonymous function is already a value. Evaluate the second one and the third sub-expression. So three times one, what does that evaluate to? That evaluates to three. 3 minus 1, that evaluates to 2. Now we can substitute each of those values for the name inside of the body. So we've got x minus y, and we substitute 3 for x and 2 for y. That's our sub-expression e prime as the result of the substitution. And finish by evaluating that to a value 3 minus 2 evaluates to the value 1. 